I have visited this site once before with my team back in 2015. And at some point during that time, I started experiencing some heavy breathing near the shopping plaza. Now it's all up to me to try and further analyze this experience. My name is Nicholas. I am a young paranormal investigator in search of proof of the spirit world. I am also a person that can easily sense and feel spirit energy around me. And in this special episode of A Haunted Legacy, I will be conducting a brief solo mission at the notoriously haunted Fort Slongo Battlefield to try and further document the heavy breathing I experienced last time with my crew. This is A Haunted Legacy. For this special episode of A Haunted Legacy, I am returning to the town of Fort Salonga, New York to reinvestigate the haunted Fort Salonga battlefield to conduct my first ever solo mission. I have visited this site once before with my team back in 2015. And at some point during that time, I started experiencing some heavy breathing near the shopping plaza. Now it's all up to me to try and further analyze this experience. Once I arrived at the site, I gathered all of my equipment and began exploring. The Long Island Paranormal Investigators have also paid a visit to this land. And they have announced that there have been claims of hearing gunshots and the sounds of war taking place while no one is around the premises. This site was once a fort back in the early 1780s. This fort was established during the American Revolution on October 3rd, 1781. I tried doing an EVP session a few feet away from the shopping plaza. Roll on the voice recorder. Hello spirits of Fort Slongo Battlefield. I'm back by myself. My father Nick and my uncle William and my grandmother Helen are not here. Just you and me now. There's the shopping plaza right there. I'm not far from the area where I experienced the heavy breathing from last time. Can you make the ghost meter go up? With no luck on the voice recorder yet, I now headed over to the notorious area of the shopping plaza where I experienced the heavy breathing. Roll. Alright spirits, are you over here? I know I felt some heavy breathing here last time, I'm, I'm keen to seeing it again. I then went underneath the shopping plaza entrance and attempted to pick up something with my gear. Let me do another session. Wait, first let me review my voices. Alright spirits, are you over here? I know I felt some heavy breathing here last time. I'm... Let's see. Try to be careful. Are you under the shopping plaza? So far, I'm not experiencing anything. Once I finished searching underneath the shopping plaza entrance, I moved on to a different area of the premises. I snatched my GoPro camera and set up another camera on a tripod facing the road. I hit the record button on my GoPro and also grabbed my ghost meter. Here we go. Alright, Fort Slongo Battlefield, round two. So far I'm not picking up any energy. I now commenced another EVP session. Uh 
Now I'm trying to remember the names of the spirits that reside here. See, right over there is the sign, so... Come on, spirits, are you gonna talk or what? As I neared closer to the road, I realized I wasn't going to capture any voices on my recorder. Come on, let's try and capture some evidence. There's people watching me and I only got a few seconds to try and prove your existence. There's a car right behind me, so... So my recording session had to be terminated. I thought I heard the ghost meter spike a little bit when I was over by the shopping plaza. So I'm, I must be picking up some pretty decent evidence. But right now in this spot, it just seems quiet. All the cars driving by. And I'm here just puzzled. Let me check my voices. Let me just be honest with you folks, you don't have to just capture evidence from your technology in order to prove a spirit's existence, it's about how you interpret it as well. Like if you feel there's energy residing here, like if you feel a cold presence, that can count as evidence too. So I'm saying last time I felt a heavy breathing by the left side, so... Now that I'm looking at it, I don't feel the energy residing over here, but when I look at the shopping plaza, I can feel that the energy's behind the building, so... Let's hope they can travel themselves over here. Check our voices. I now approach the sign. I'm taking a calculated risk to try and get up close and personal with the sign because that's where all the history comes alive. Reading that information can make you think back in awe. I just want to see what happens when I... I'm not going to go on the street. I'm just going to draw myself a little bit closer to it. It's, it's going up a little bit. I saw it going up for a little bit. didn't reach the yellow area. But I saw it moving up a little bit, see it? But I saw it moving up a little bit, see it? But I saw it moving up a little bit, see it? Amazingly, my ghost meter started picking up a very small spike. It's on its way up. Although my ghost meter wasn't flashing or making noise, this still could potentially be a piece of evidence. Are you over here? Are you by the sign? When I finished searching near the sign, I moved on to the other end of the shopping plaza to complete my solo mission. So here we are at the other side of the Fort Slongo battlefield and I'm going to try and use the ghost meter over here on the right side to see if there's energy residing over here. Let's get to it. Now this is the back. They say they hear gunshots in the early morning and the sounds of battle taking place. But now it's getting late, it's getting dark out, so I don't think I'm going to hear that, so... Oh, the ghost meter is going up a little bit, though. Come on, spirits, are you here? Oh, it feels cold right here. I took several images with my thermal camera on my iPad. In the back it looks pretty warm, but... With no other luck on the other side of the shopping plaza, I then decided I had no other option but to wrap up my first ever solo mission, which has taken place here at the Fort Slongo Battlefield. I have made my presence known to the souls that haunt the Fort Slongo Battlefield twice. In the middle of my search here with my team two years ago, there was an occurrence where I couldn't catch my breath as my team and I were walking to the back of the shopping plaza. And during my second search here, I went on my first solo adventure and tried to further study this event. And there were also a few other incidents during this time where my ghost meter picked up a very tiny spike. And now some of you may be assuming that this incident could have been caused from the frigid weather outside or from my imagination. But here's the way I interpret this encounter. 
As I was reaching closer to the back of the shopping plaza with my crew, I felt the adrenaline levels in my body skyrocket. This trip was unlike any other, and let's hope that I was able to help these soldiers that are at unrest leave the battlefield.